I don't think the news changes so much as the way it's reported has changed. No matter how much, for personal reasons, I might be tempted not to live here. I'm an American writer, and I'm not sure that I would be in as touch with my subject if I lived somewhere else. I just write online pieces of paper. Uh, I try to use two sides of a piece of paper. My contribution to the environment. By the time I was writing the Cider House Rules, I thought, well, you, you seem to work best when you begin with the last sentence. And once I know, like a piece of music, what it sounds like at the end, where I'm going, I make a kind of roadmap in reverse, back to where I think the story should begin. Uh, so far, that last sentence has never changed. Never. Never. I see that ending and I write uh, toward it. It's, it's, it's kind of waiting for me. Now, I stopped wrestling in 76 when uh, I was still writing my fourth novel. I mean, I competed till I was 34, which is long. I, I think that when your longevity as a wrestler is behind you, but you're still hungry or dissatisfied because you never won what you wanted to win, that's where the, the temptation lies. I feel good. I mean, I've had a couple of knee surgeries and a shoulder and an elbow, but I'm in pretty good shape for a guy in his, who's 70. I, I can't imagine being alive and not writing, not creating, not being the architect of a story. It's in, it's in a category of um, needing to eat, needing to sleep, uh, needing to have sex, needing to exercise. I hope the way anyone hopes who loves what he or she does, that I could um, uh, die at my desk doing, doing this. Uh, I do suffer, I suppose, from the delusion that um, uh, I will be able to write something um, un until I die. I, that's my intention, it's my hope.